Welcome to the video of the IntelliMint Challenge number two of IntelliMint 2.0. If you have not yet done the written part of it, of observing the photo of this challenge and taken your own conclusion, so stop the video now, trust me, stop the video and go back and do the part that this challenge requests you to do before you watch this video. Otherwise, you will be influenced by the video and the results will not be as good as it could be. Well, taking that you have already done so, I would like to leave you with some lessons and comments of what I concluded when I studied this photo. First, I saw this photo by chance. I saw it when I was reading a news website and the photo called my attention a lot. It is a very dramatic photo of a coach, Tom Izu with his player Matt McQuaid and many things come to mind but the main thing that comes to my mind is the contrast of the attitude expressions of the coach Tom Izu and the expression of the player Matt you see that the coach is even red his veins are popping out. He is literally on the face of the player, screaming, giving some instructions during the basketball game, pointing with his finger, like showing him, you go there and do this and that and that. In other words, you will go to this game and do this. He was giving the command to his player. But on the other side, the player Matt was listening to him. The coach was right on his ear, shouting. And the player is with a complete serene, focusing only on what he is listening to from the coach and not on the manner that the coach is talking. Meaning there is a very clear separation between the message and the way the message is being given. Probably the message was an instruction for the game. You go there and you do this, this and that. So Matt was attentive to this message. The manner this message was being passed was with all strength and imposition, with all firmness from the coach, which obviously strengthened the importance of the message. But in some way, you may agree with me, it was a bit aggressive, isn't it? However, the player Matt was not shaken by the manner his coach spoke to him. He simply focused on the command given and what he should do about it. So, what do I see today? I see that many men have lost this spirit of toughness, this spirit of resilience, seriousness, this strong spirit as we see there on the coach, who obviously is in a competitive environment. This college league of basketball in the United States is a very competitive league. And obviously, he has to have this spirit to lead his players to victory. And I learned a bit about this coach, Tom Izzo, and I found out, just see, it is not a coincidence. I found out that he, the coach, that he is the coach with the longest time in this league. He is a coach for already 20 years, 20 years in charge of this team. He has achieved many records. He has achieved many records with this team. He has more than 500 games won. He won championships. And not only that, on the division he plays, Many of the other coaches, coaches of the other teams they play against, they were formed by him. 
He is a man who makes disciples and his disciples become as good as he is. So it is not him. I do not know his character. I do not know his personal life. I am only here talking about a piece of life that is the growth of his career. What he does, he is good. So does this have anything to do with the spirit we see on the photo? Absolutely. He was already considered one of the ten coaches more heated, more temperamental on the sense of expressing his rage against defeat, against the negative situation of his team, of the league he plays. So he has an aggressive spirit, strict, demanding with his work and his players. So, I see that today, men in a general way are very sensible. Men, especially men on the western side, they seem to be nowadays very soft, sensitive, all touchy. You can see many of the male icons, if we can call them men, in culture nowadays, singers, actors, football players, many of male icons nowadays. And all they show is sensitivity, touchy, being politically correct. Society nowadays is very womanish and man is in a certain way castrated. I'm not here saying that we will come back to the barbaric times or being barbaric. Nothing like that. An intelligent man knows how to balance. He knows how to be sensitive. There are times that he needs to be sensitive with his children, wife, a colleague at work. He knows how to be sensitive, respectful, but he also knows how to be firm, strict with the things he has to face, things he has to conquer. This is what I'm talking about. Nowadays, many men are so sensitive that you cannot rebuke them. You cannot speak a bit louder or be tough with them because they will be all offended saying, this is injustice, bullying. They are bullying me. I am being bullied. What is this? Think how this will affect you in your work environment, how this will affect you in marriage, relationship, school, in every way. How does this affect you? Most probably, if you are someone who is extremely sensitive, you are an emotional man, full of emotions, being touchy, filled with feelings because of the way someone treated you or spoke with you, then I'm sorry to say, but you are a defeated person. You are defeated. What do you need to develop? You need to have what we call tough skin. To be tough is to be like this. You can hit me, for I can take it. Jesus said, I give the other cheek. To give the other cheek is not to be soft. To give the other cheek is you being strong. It is to be tough. Because those who are soft don't give the other cheek. The soft one does not give the other cheek. To be tough. To know how to separate the message from the way it is given. Meaning, sometimes your boss, father, wife, anyone who comes to you and says something tough, a tough truth for you, and it is painful. I know it is painful, but sometimes you lose the focus from the message and focus on the way it is passed. You focused on, oh, why did you speak with me like that? You cannot speak like that. Come on, come on. A real man is tough. He knows how to resist emotions. Small things will not shake him. So, in this challenge, 
Maybe you have written something completely the opposite from what I have said. And I am not saying that you are wrong, but the photo is open to interpretation. But my interpretation, what I took for myself from this photo was exactly this that I wanted to share with you. And feel free to leave your comments here, what you concluded from what I spoke or anything else that I did not even mention but you got it from the photo so leave your comments decide what you would do with what we have spoken about decide to be someone who at least for me the meditation I had what I took from this message is this I will start to evaluate myself more I will evaluate my feelings attitudes if I have been focusing on the message or on the way the message is given and I will ask the Spirit of God to help me to have this spirit that I see in the heroes of faith of the Bible in the Bible we see men when we read the attitudes of the men of God, we do not see weakness, quietness, sensibility. We see balance, but we see firmness. This is something I see even nowadays in the 21st century. When you are on the streets in Israel, for those who have the opportunity of going there, you see the Arabs and the Jews talking on the road or with each other, those from outside will think they are fighting as they talk rough, loud. That's their way in that area. It is like that. They shout at the phone, they make a face, they turn their backs to others, leaving them talking alone. For us from outside, from the West, we see these people talking. We will think that they fought and they will no longer talk with each other. But soon they are there talking normally. Why? Because they inherited this. They have this as their inheritance. On this side of the world, in the Middle East, men are more tough, more strict, serious more tough in their way and no one takes it personally it is just a way of being a man of showing your rights not being shy to talk and be tough to speak as well these are the two things we have to develop so here is my meditation for today and I hope it has helped you in some way God bless you all see you on the third challenge